So you buy your wife that new car? Yeah, I bought my wife a new car. You shouldn't have done that, Sean. You shouldn't have done that. She's got you figured out like Chinese checkers. What'd she do, stop putting out until you bought the car? Jeez, Dale, your kid's in the back. You don't mind, do you, Mark? No, I know about women. Oh, is that so? <laughs> yeah, he knows about women. This guy's a little Don one. Oh, he doesn't even have a schlong yet. You know, you really shouldn't be exposing him to all this kind of stuff. Guns, bad guys, topless bars. So you bought your wife a new car? Yeah, Torino. How much did that put you back? 4500 And you're not gonna believe the goddamn reason she gave me needing this car. This next door neighbor, Patty, she just got a new Aston Martin. Aston Martin? How the fuck she do that? What's her husband, a doctor or something? Lawyer. Lawyer, there you go. Fucking Aston Martin. Dad, what's an Aston Martin? Eh, yeah, that's one of those foreign cars that only rich people can buy. And drug dealers. You see that? You are poisoning his little mind. What do you suggest I fill his little mind with? Sesame Street crap like that, huh? Yeah, my kid watches Sesame Street. Yeah, and your kid's fat and he gets his ass kicked <laughs> in school, doesn't he? You told me he gets his ass kicked in school, doesn't he? Nobody's kicking my kid's ass. So he should be tough and cynical. Not educated and smart, but tough. Shit, yeah, what's the matter with that? You want him to be a cop? Yeah. Huh. You want to grow up and be a cop like Daddy, huh? <laughs> Shit, yeah. Watch your mouth, Mark. Yeah, sorry. Wants to be a cop like Daddy. You know, if you ask me, I think you both should look into dental school. <laughs> <laughs> dental school? What the fuck does dental school have to do with anything? Well, if you're a dentist, you can buy an Aston Martin. And you don't get shot at. You see, being a dentist is safe. Safe? Let me tell you something, buddy boy. Nothing's safe in this world. And the sooner you get your kid's head out of that TV and set him straight, he's gonna do just fine. Because the man who understands that nothing is safe is the man who's gonna live a long life. You got that? Well, why do you want him to be a cop? Because he's gonna be a good cop. Huh. And that's it? Cops are a dime a dozen. See, the trick is to find a good cop. And Mark's gonna be a good cop. Well, you shouldn't be exposing him to all this crap. W would you mind if we just turn the lights and chase somebody? Yeah, Dale, pull over here. Hey, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah, you got it, man. So yeah. yeah, we got Jackson right up here. Hey, Jackson, what the hell are you doing here? Man, Dad, what's, what's going, going on? Punk? I'm just hanging out, man. Well, you can't hang out here. I don't see no signs here, Just man. stay in the car, buddy. You anyway to tell me where to go? I do business here. No, you don't do business here, okay? You cannot be here. Oh, no? Why no, is no, that? Because no. I said so. Hey, you're under arrest. We got a problem here? Well, 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 look who we have here. Your life is over. It's on the street, pig. That's right, I'm talking to you, pig, Officer Dale Goddard, Silent Blue. You fucked up. Wax is gonna fix your ass like a broke record. Why are you letting him talk to you like that, Dale? If I was you, I'd start looking for some protection. What the fuck's he talking about, Motherfucker Dale? Motherfucker know exactly right, what I've been talking you about. That's, that's, that's all I got, that's, that's it. Now come on, that's enough. Oh, wait. Oh,
Teresa, turn that down, honey. Terry, I said turn that down. That looks great, sweetie. Why don't you go wash your hands for dinner, OK? Yeah, sure. Bob, I don't know if you were serious or not. I'm just asking for a little, a little protection, all right? Yeah, yeah, just cover me in this. Yeah, okay. What was that all about? Huh? What were you talking on the phone about? No, just a little business. Oh, you, got, you got some business I can't know about? Look, uh, dinner's ready. Come to sit with me and the kids. Just gotta find something. What are you looking for? Is it that address book again? Dale, I thought I heard you use the word protection. Dale, you gotta, you gotta talk to me. Just give me a little space. I got a little business to take care of. Jesus, our son was almost killed today. I know, I was there. Remember? Well, you just, you, you come in here, you sit on the phone, you don't say anything. You, you look out the window every five minutes like you're a criminal. Are you on the take? What? The take. <laughs> no, honey. I never took a dime in my life. <laughs> I just got a little business I gotta take care of. <sighs> Who's after us, Dale? Nobody. <sighs> You've killed people. Criminals. Oh, I... Trick or treat. Oh, 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 Come here, you bitch. No. I no. said. No. Knock, knock. Silent blue. You like the entrance? Were you told not to talk? Huh? Did I make myself unclear? What's going on, Dad? Get over here. No. Shut up, you Stop bitch. It. Where are the kids? Where are the kids? <laughs> Christopher. I'm the man who killed your whole family. You little fuck, I'm gonna kill you. My gun? You like my gun? You want my gun? You got steel balls already. At your age? You're not afraid to die? You want to kill me, huh? You want to take a shot at me? Go ahead. Go ahead, take the gun. Come on, take the gun. It's a big chance here. Take the gun. Take the gun. Come on, take the gun. Take the gun! Put it up to my head. Right there. Right. Put it to my head. Now just pull the trigger and kill me. Come on. All you gotta do is pull the trigger and kill me. Come on, pull the trigger. Pull the fucking trigger! Pull it! I gave you your shot. You don't have any balls. Just like your old man. You're ballless. So now you're gonna die. Are you awake? Can you hear me? Open your eyes for me. It's Grandma. Do you remember Melissa? You remember Melissa? You had an awful crush on her the last time you came to visit. 
When she heard you were hurt, she begged me to bring her here to see you. I think she likes you too. So this is it, huh? Yeah. Elliot's been managing the place for the past five years. He thinks it's a good investment. So we're gonna buy it. We're just uh, waiting for the loan to go through. You're gonna buy it, huh? Fantastic. I mean, it's... It's very romantic, isn't it? Cook and the waitress shacking up, buying the joint. You live an American dream, huh? So what's gonna happen with my boy? Is he gonna be, uh, is he gonna be one of the bus boys? Danny is still our son. And Elliot, he's not a cook, he's a manager. And yes, we are living together. The last time I checked, that wasn't a crime, so don't make it sound that way. Hey, did I do that? <laughs> I don't need this. Well, what do you need, Mel? What do you want from me? Huh, you want me to help you get the loan? You want me to move Elliot's shit into the house for you? I mean, I, I apologize if I've been a little difficult to get along with lately, but it really sucks losing your family to a fucking cook. Sorry. Manager. You didn't lose us. You gave us up. I gave you up? How did I give you up? By working my ass off, I had to provide for you. I know. I know that you're an honest, hard-working man. But you are not the only cop who works hard. But you aren't the only cop trying to live down a memory that won't ever live down. Now, your parents are dead, and there is nothing that you can do that is ever going to change that. They're dead. Newsflash, Mel. Thank you very much. Why don't you tell me something that I don't know? You were a child, Mark. Forgive yourself. Move on. What do you want me to be a cook? I can't be with someone who's drowning. I love you, Mark. I love you, Mark, and I've loved you ever since I was 10 years old. And I watched you almost leave me then, and I can't do it again. Elliot's there, and he's good to our son. That's what makes me happy. This place makes me happy. See me, tell me what. Good luck now. 
Good luck with your loan. Good luck with this place. How'd that math test go? Good. You got any problems with Mr. Habert? Nope. <laughs> well, that's good, because I'll come down there and straighten that guy out. <laughs> Sir Andrews. I know who she is. All right. How you doing? Fine. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. He's a serial sociopath. Usually shows up here about once a month. Generally on weekends. Sitting women primarily. No witnesses? Victims are stabbed five or six times in the back before they're robbed? I know. She knows? And you want to do this? Yeah, I want to do this. I want to get this son of a bitch. Team Green, check in. Okay. All right, don't keep a pattern in there. I want you to mix it up a little bit. I got guys stashed all over this place, so when he makes his moves just back off, let's take him down. All right? Okay. Sing Finn okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Now, I want to show you a little something. He's going to pull a knife on me, right? When he comes at you... Yeah, yeah, easy, Tiger. The guy takes third place in the precinct martial arts competition and thinks he's Bruce Lee. Shut up! I'm trying to show her how to protect her face. Yeah, if he'd probably show something like this. <laughs> he's, tough. he's a pretty tough guy, but I want you to know that I don't want you to worry about this because anything goes wrong, I'm going to be there. If you take a look at these legs, you'll see I'm a thoroughbred. You take a look at these legs, you can tell he eats like a thoroughbred. Huh? It's a very hurtful thing you just said there, Mark. Look, <laughs> you look like you're sweating it a little bit. That's okay. I don't want you to sweat this thing. We got this all worked out. Okay. Oh, well, I'm gonna be following you like a uh, dog in heat. Not that close, okay? Oh, bad choice of words. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Well, listen, just the main thing is, don't get nervous, because that's when you make mistakes. You got that thing in your ear, we'll be able to hear everything going on. You'll be able to hear us. Okay. How do I look? Stunning. Okay. It's all right. Damn good. Say. All right. Peace. She's all right. You know, if we knew this guy's schedule, it'd make it a lot easier, but uh, since we don't, it's gonna be complicated. What are you doing, partner? I fear you're killing me. What do you want to do? Want to call it a day? No way. Well, lady's a trooper. You have no idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a nasty looking son of a gun in a blue windbreaker. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. That's a negative mark. That's Swicky. He's one of our guys. <laughs> Sorry, Ames. Didn't mean to scare you.
Amy, 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 start the transaction. That's our guy. Don't turn around, just give me your purse, or I'm gonna cut you.
best I can. I'm a bell in the morning. Try to catch me if you can. I love you. Can I help you? Somebody call the police? Oh, you guys are the cops. Cool. I'm Officer Goddard. It's my partner, Officer Andrews. What seems to be the problem? Oh, uh, you should take a look at these. Jesus. Yeah, I know. I showed them to my manager, and uh, he told me to call the cops. And so that's what I did. Is this guy coming back? Uh, yeah. He should be back in about 15 minutes, because they dropped him off about 45 minutes ago. We're just one hour. Um, hey, officer? I'm not going to get in any trouble for this, am I? No, you did fine. Thanks. You see anything? No. How about this one? Wait a second. Excuse me, we're police officers. We'd like to talk to you. Would you come over here with me? Can I talk to you? Come Is on, you? let's go take a walk. Yeah, that's a picture of my family. Where'd you get that picture? What's going on here? We just got a call from Florida. Is that your mommy? That's my private yeah. Well, Is that your daddy? Yeah. Are you doing okay? Everything all right? Well, listen, I'm a police officer, and I need to talk to your mommy for a few minutes, all right? So I want you to stay here, okay? Be right back. What's going on over here? Why is he treating my husband like this? That's your husband? Yes. And this is your daughter? Yes, it is, and that's her stepfather. Where's her real father? In Sweden. It's a free country. I'll take pictures of whoever I want. Fuck off. Piece of shit! She's six years old and naked, motherfucker! And hey, fuck you, cop! She's my stepdaughter! She's fucking six years old and naked! Fuck, fuck you! Get off of him! You Get rock. off! Oh, stay here! You piece no. of shit! Don't you fuck him! Don't you fuck him! Get it together, Mark! You're under arrest! You're coming with me! Hey, man, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> You see my hat? Those things will kill you, baby. Hey, Rodney, over here. I should be so lucky. I've been watching you. You must be a cop. I look like a cop to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just that cops usually hang around in this place. <laughs> Do you have any drugs? You're asking a cop if he's got drugs? 
They usually do. <laughs> you do, don't you? I can arrest your ass. You can handcuff me anytime, baby. Let's get out of here. Ralph, I get the check. <laughs> so I was telling my son this morning not to waste his cereal, because that stuff is like $6 a box, all right? I mean, he think he can just sit up watching the Power Rangers pour milk on his shit and just let it go, right? But that shit's like $10 a box nowadays. It's like pouring money down the drain, you know what I'm saying? Now, when I was a kid, there was only two different kinds of cereal. There was Life and Cocoa Puffs. Uh, do you like Cocoa Puffs? Cocoa Puffs all right. Cocoa Puffs ain't shit. Now, the real cereal is Honeycombs. Honeycomb. Cereal of kings, goddamn Honeycombs. The big thing was the secret hideout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs> well, you and your boys would get together and plan shit. Now, don't ask me what you was planning, because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it be an algebraic given that you was planning shit, all right? I'm done with that. Anyway, be that as it may, these jokers run an ad campaign. <laughs> Smart white boy motherfuckers like you. Hmm. Figured that if they could fabricate the ultimate secret hideout and somehow associate that shit with the cereal, they'd be selling like gangsters, right? So they got like five or six kids of all different shapes, sizes, and races and shit and put them in this TV secret hideout and called it the honeycomb hideout. So there they sat in this honeycomb hideout, and they ate much honeycomb cereal, just like he was going out of style, right? <laughs> so you, me, and every kid was sitting in front of the TV set wanting to be there. Because when you eat the cereal, it's like you're really there. Mm. And they had this song. If you can remember the song, I'll give you a blowjob. I'm sorry, what was that? If you can remember the song and sing it for me, I'll give you the best blowjob you ever had. If I sing the Honeycomb song, seriously, because I know that motherfucker. <laughs> so sit your ass down, honey. <laughs> I know the Fat Albert theme too, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Bravo, bravo. Hey, easy, 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 easy. Who the fuck are you? What's going on here? Diane. Thank you. That'll be all. Sorry, Mark. That was great. My name's Donald Malls. And if you allow me to reach into my wallet, you'll see that I'm a badge, just like you. A cop. Yeah, my door was open. But maybe you'd like to hear what I have to say. You don't sound like a cop. It's ages ago. Long time ago. What the fuck do you want? Want to introduce you to a few people. I already talked to your superiors. Captain Allen. And, uh, I know you like to have a good time. Lots of cash in there. A limo would be by to pick you up at 8 p.m. sharp. If you're not there, keep the money. It's a gift. For a great service. However, if you do decide to show, there'll be a lot more money for it. But you must understand, by showing, you buy a one-way ticket to our organization. No way out. Hope to see you there. And wear a suit.
Excuse me, where are we going? Malibu, sir. Malibu. Why didn't you tell me? I'd have brought my surfboard. Uh, well, we can go back for it if you'd like, sir. That was a job. Nice to meet you, Mark. Mark's with the LAPD. Oh, interesting. Excuse me, boys. So what's this? This? This is a party. Don't they have these south of Sunset? Very funny. You want to tell me what's going on? Just what I'm going to do. Yeah, have you ever heard of, uh, of the J.I.? Why don't you enlighten me? Well, it's kind of like a club. I came all the way out here to be told about a club? It's very special. And its members are all unique. You pulled off this cash slasher deal. That made you eligible. Eligible? What the hell are you talking about? I got you interested. I want to introduce you to some friends of mine. Now, these are old friends. This is, uh, Mr. Wax. And Mr. Foster, they're the chairman of J.I. All right, Mark, here it is. J.I. is a fraternity of former police officers from all across the country who have achieved in their careers a minimum of nine kills. Now, J.I. exists for the sole purpose of crime management without the constraints of the legal system. We sweep the trash off the streets. Murderers. Rapists, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Bounty hunters. Without the bounty, we are financed quite secretly by the federal government, so each member receives a salary. However, we don't do it for the money. So if you don't feel comfortable with the idea, you can leave. J.I.'s been in existence for over 50 years. It's a secret society. We have headquarters all over the country in New York. Chicago, Boston, Detroit, Philadelphia. Whenever we're informed by one of our contacts that our officers reached nine kills in the line of duty, we offer him a membership, as we extend to you now. Somebody trying to pull a joke on me? This is no joke. Come on, where's the camera? And what the fuck's going on? You think it's a joke? Well, excuse me, gentlemen. I'd like to show you something in here. Here. Willie. Here you are, sir. You remember Mr. Siprick? Child molester. The one who accused you of police brutality? Got off on a technicality. Another one that got away. You want to do the honors? Take the gun. Come on. I know you want to. Hey. Don't think we're joking around, Mark? I know there's a little bit for you to handle. You seem a little overwhelmed. Why don't you just think about it? Come on in the den. I'll leave you my phone number on your answering machine. And Mark, you weren't here tonight. We don't want our little secret out. Not that anyone would believe him anyway. <laughs> oh, by the way, what does J.I. stand for? Justice Incorporated. Mark, I know you don't seem too convinced. Oh, uh, you know, it's, uh... I mean, it's, it's really not for me. But thank you. I know you 
like to find the murderers of your family. And I've got a lot of contacts. And believe me, I can help. You think about it. I bet. This is the addresser. There you go, get a haircut. Only one? Hey! Now I know how you got your nine kills. I just don't like people sneaking up on me. Or limos, or hotels, or carrying more than one gun. There's a lot of things you don't like. I guess I'm not a real likable guy. Well, I hope you like sports cars. Wax left three of them in the garage. If you want murderers, we got murderers. Did you ever hear of the concrete line? No. Well, not very popular, but they will be soon if something's not done. They're a small yet very deadly crime organization who's tied into at least 12 murders in the Los Angeles area. His name is Jeremiah Pope. He's third in the pecking order with the concrete line. A dangerous individual, so be careful. You'll find him on third and grand. So Malls is continuously trying to put us out of business. You cut him off, we'll have to pay the price. Son of a bitch got too greedy. It's cheaper to fight him. We can't take on the organization. We can afford better hitmen. We've got 10 guys coming aboard next week. Then let's take him out. What about the, uh, the operation? Want to uh, cool it for a little while? On the contrary. We need to expand our productivity. I can keep the lab running 24 hours a day, so we make a Friday deadline, which means we can have the crack to the little school children by Monday morning, which means the cash keeps coming in, and it's business as usual. Good. Well, I've managed to procure a large shipment of high-tech weaponry from some friends in Cuba. Doug, I need you to fly down to Mexico to meet with our friends to guarantee receipt of the merchandise. Why does he go? Why not me? Because, Marsh, if I were able to harness your brain power, I may be able to operate a small alarm clock. <laughs> now, Grubb is no Einstein himself, but of the two of you, he wins the spelling bee. <laughs> I win the spelling bee. <laughs> yeah. Johnny will meet you at the airport and take you to Ramirez's house. And Grubb, stay off the shit. I don't want you putting all the profits up your nose. Hey. I'm not doing any shit, man. I got, I got a bug. <laughs> Get out of here.
Wait here. No problem. Yeah, I understand that. That's no problem. Am I gonna Should get pat him down. down there? I searched him. Out? He's clean. Did he bring the money? He brought the money. All right. So you want to nick the counters, boys, huh? That's right, baby. Gentleman's a fucking asshole, if you ask me. Well, nobody asked you. <laughs> You're a real hey, tough guy, aren't you? Easy. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions. I mean, you know, Nick can be a little difficult at times. I'm just a drug runner. I make deals. I came here to buy the shit. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to taste it. Mind if I try that stuff? I mean, if I'm gonna buy it, I gotta test drive it. Go ahead. Thank you. Hey, Jesus what are you doing? Christ. Be careful, You must there. have been out of my mind. Richmond finds out I invited you oh, up here, he'd shit. kill me. Uh, Seems oh, to me he uh, thinks you guys are wrapped up with the cops somehow. Cops? We fucking hate cops. I kill cops for fun. Let's see the money. <laughs> the cops? Count it, man. I'm sorry about that. It's all there. Hey, I apologize for this, okay? Give me a little break with that. I'm sorry, huh? One accident, the guy goes off on me. Yeah. Don't tell Nick about that. What are you, crazy? You can't smoke in here. What's your problem? What is your problem? Get him out of here. What the fuck Get him out, out of here. here. Nick's gonna kick your ass. Let's go, you fucking little <laughs>
Right, Roger. Hey, Mark. <laughs> nice work. Not particularly uh, subtle, but effective. Civilians were killed. Casualties of war. Mark, you remember Rachel from the party? Hope you don't mind us making ourselves at home. We borrowed a couple of steaks. How do you like your meat? Rare? Medium rare? Oh, well done. Mark, you better get used to surprises. <laughs> Let's eat. That takes us on to number two, Mr. Donald Grubb. Member of the Concrete Lion hit team. He's ruthless. He's booked on a flight tomorrow to La Ropa. Mexico. Concrete Lion. Weapons purchase. Perfect time to strike. How can we know so much about this crew? Well, I told you how long J.I. has been in existence. And you can't eliminate criminals without some of them getting scared and deciding to come over to your side. Stole pigeons? Exactly. Now, Rachel will be accompanying you on the trip. No, 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 no. She's not coming with me anywhere. I'll be your liaison. I speak perfect Spanish. I don't really care what you speak. I'm not gonna involve them. A woman? Rachel's a seasoned killer. She's a four-year member of J.I. What can I say? I like my work. What is this? This is a lot of money. Mm. There's enough there for you to start a business. Buy a home for you and my kid. I can't take it. Here, I can't take it. Where did you get this? It's a long story. Don't worry about it. Just take it. Well, Elliot's gonna wonder where all this money came from. He's not... He won't take it. Tell him I owed it to you. Mark, he won't take it. Are you marrying a priest? I'm not giving the money to Elliot. I'm giving it to you. You do whatever you want with it. Throw in the trash you don't want it. Are you leaving? I've never seen you like this. What's going on, Mark? Mark, you can't just walk in here and hand me a, a bag full of thousands of dollars and then just walk away. Just take care of my kid for me. Why do I have this strange feeling that I'm seeing you for the last time? Don't leave me. Okay? Don't... Don't do this to me. God, I feel like we've done this so many times. And I always come back, right? And when you're in my life, I want you out. And when you're gone, I miss you. Does that make any sense? It makes perfect sense. It's just the way it has to be. All right, Coach, what's the game plan? When we get to La Ropa, we get ourselves a room, and then we wait for them to show up. Sounds easy enough. What time do you want to hit them? Later today, darling. When they make the exchange. Hey, we got orders to kill Grub. Plans change. Wait when we get there. hotter than hell here. Someone ought to turn them on to that new invention called air conditioning. Oh, God, I miss L.A. Do you? I don't mind it here. <laughs> That's scary. Where'd you get that scar from? <laughs> Take a guess. Looks like a 38 snub nose, 18 <laughs> feet away. Good guess. 
Want to make love? We have a few hours. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. If you don't mind my saying so, you seem like a very unhappy man, Mark. What's the matter? Not talking? Can't cut your tongue? You sound just like my ex-wife. Intuitive woman. Come on, open the goddamn gate. Where is he? Down to the right. Take him. Frying out here. Hey. Ah! Oh. Oh. We gotta go. Grub just pulled up. Oh. Don't do that to me, man. Hola, señor Grub. Wow. Where is he? Right this way. Senor Rodriguez is waiting for you. What is this place? Something out of Zorro? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Senor Grub. There he is. Hey, the Cisco kid. Welcome, Douglas, my friend. Friend, we'll see. How was your flight? It was okay. Can you get me something to drink around here? <sighs> Come on, move, move. I tell you, there was no need for this. The guns will be delivered to Los Angeles before you return. They'll be on the street before you are. If they trusted you in L.A., Ramirez, I wouldn't have had to come down to this shithole. Ah, uh, excuse me, hola. Um, por favor, la dirección para un buen restaurante, por favor? Speak English, um, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. You speak <laughs> what the hell was that? There's nothing we can't handle.
package ready, sir. Is that all of it? Every single dollar. Anything else I can do for you? Obviously, this is some kind of plot against me. Pulp and Grub's desk were too close. Concrete line will have to be dissolved. What about me? Oh, don't worry, we'll pick it up again later. Okay. I want you to destroy all records of its existence. And have my jet ready tomorrow. I'll be back. Of course, sir. What's going on here? I don't like to adjust my day. I had to change a golf date and a business deal. Are you here to renegotiate something or what? Let me tell you what's burning me up, Mosey. I came out here to find out some important information. You got me right around killing idiots. Did you see them pull the trigger? When? When your family was murdered years ago when you were a little boy. Did you see the killers pull the trigger? What fucking difference does that make? Well, you heard the shots. You didn't utter a word for five years. Who told you that? I know you like an old familiar song. Silent Blue. What does that mean? Silent Blue? What is it? That's been a question that's haunted you for all these years. I'll tell you. When you're ready. Done a nice job so far. But we've got one more fish to bake. And then I'll tell you everything you've always wanted to know. I'll see you later. Yeah, hi, it's Rachel. He said he... he said he plans to leave after he gets the information. Well, we must make sure he never gets it. You know, he won't accept that. I don't give a rat's ass what he accepts. You just do your job and keep him in check. If he starts asking too many questions, kill him. Yes, sir. Evidence. Everything's been taken care of exactly as you ordered. Good work, Marsh. Thank you. Let's have a drink to celebrate. Let's. Shall I? Absolutely. I've always been impressed by your loyalty. Thank you, sir. That's good. <laughs> Mr. Richmond. Who the fuck are you? I'm Mark Goddard. I have a little message for you. Did I come at a bad time? Who? What the hell happened to you? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just got back from a barbecue. Is Richmond dead? Mary. Okay. We're almost there, buddy boy. We got one more job to do. You know, you're beginning to sound like a broken record. No, 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 no. This is very important. You do this last job, and you'll get your car. I promise. 
promise. <sighs> you got an ad, Bill. Fun stuff, huh? <sighs> Barrel monkeys. I gotta get a little shot. I'm gonna take my kid to Disneyland tomorrow. You don't seem like typical J.I., Mark. I'll take that as a compliment. I just don't want to see you get hurt. That makes two of us. You know what I'd love to do more than anything else in the whole world? Just you and me get in a car and just start driving. Just go down that road and never look back. I'm not Disneyland anymore. How do you think he's gonna take it? Take what? Your son, his father getting killed. Your luck's gonna run out sooner or later. How come you never got out? Because I got no one to care for. What's my next job? I'll get the file. We're not alone on this one. No, no, don't tell me. Things change. I think you ought to stop asking so many questions, Mark, and just do your job. this guy? What the hell's he doing? Sean. I need a hospital. I didn't know it was you, man. I'm a good cop. Yeah. You should have gone to dental school. Take him now. Let's dust him. <laughs> he was 
was a good man. My father's partner. I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah. Mark! Mark! Wait a minute. You weren't supposed to... What? You weren't supposed to walk away from here. Not she took a dress, she's gone. Oh, your grandson is here. Thank you, dear. How's she doing? She's much nicer when you're around. <laughs> I heard that. Come here, Mark. Hey, you. You look beautiful, Grandma. I'm dying. That was sweet. I need you to help me out. I've done some things Daddy wouldn't be too proud of. I gotta ask you something. I've been waiting for you to ask me. What kind of man was my father? A good cop. Your father was a good cop, Mark. Then why was he killed? You know the answer, Mark. He was just like you. You've done some things you're not proud of. Oh, your father was no saint. But he was honest. He wouldn't join them. He wouldn't do it. But it was too late. Your father spoke for the innocent. They silenced him. Silent them. Uh, I had to make some lemonade. Would you like some? Melissa was here today. She brought Danny. She said, you're not living with him anymore. Is that true? She wasn't real happy with me. Oh, you two belong together. She loves you. I... You're... No, you don't know. She loves you. Oh, life is too short, Mark. Listen to me. It's too important. Go to her. There's just one thing I gotta do.
can't hear you. Come back. Bring that plane down. Land it on a 103. I'll meet you at the airport. You land that plane on a 103, you hear me? You're breaking up. Did you say land on the freeway? I need that plane right now.
How you doing, buddy? Good. I see you. Okay, have fun, okay? Okay. We'll just be a little while. Sure. Well, uh huh, I thought you were coming with us. Can I? What happened to the restaurant? <laughs> I hate fish. She hates fish. <laughs> <laughs>